Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be giving y'all a story time about the time I bust before I even got a chance to clap. So you don't wanna miss it, so stay tuned. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. Hey okay, guys, before we hop into this story time, please go like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm get the video seen by more people out there in YouTube land. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? This is gonna be a crazy story time and an embarrassing one. I never shared this with anyone, but I'm gonna share it with y'all out there in YouTube land. So I remember the first time I moved down south with my peoples. You know, when you move to another state, you have to adjust to the scenery that's going on down there. Well, that's what happened to me. So it took about six months for me to open up to my neighbor. But when I did, boy, oh boy, she was hella thick. I guess it's true what they say about them down south chicks. They cornbread fed for real. And my neighbor was no different. We gonna call her Kim. So like any relationship or friendship, we was just taking our time getting to know each other, you know, just hanging out. Taking walks, sitting on the porch, sipping on some lemonade. So after a month goes past, we decided to take it to the next level. Oh yeah, before I continue, side note, I was a DJ at the time. I know y'all probably saying, man, what the hell do that got to do with clapping cheeks? But patience, you'll see where it ties into this story. What the fuck? So I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was hella nervous. One, I was in a new state. Two, it was about seven months without no cheeks. Stop it. Get some help. But I was determined to make the best out of that night. So I set up a romantic night for her. So I had to clean up my room because I was staying with my peoples, you know. So I set the mood with the scented candles, the red light special, getting that scene ready because it's about to go down. And you know that scene ain't complete without some slow music. So I had to make it that slow jam tape. Setting that romantic atmosphere with a meal, red light, candles, slow jam. She was gonna love me. Another side note, it was Riley's. What? What the fuck? But if you know, you know. And before y'all come at me in the comments, it was the thought that counts. Then that time came when she arrived at my door. When I say I never seen such a beautiful woman in my life, she was it. She was chocolate with flawless skin and she smelled so delicious. Well, I didn't even have a chance. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. So I offered Kim a glass of Alizé and a seat so we could talk for a little minute after talking with Kim for about like 30 minutes, I asked her, did she want to dance? I had that red light, Alizé, and the candles. You know it's about to go down. So we skipped that meal and I went straight for my dessert. I went down, downtown for about at least 10 minutes. So I'm thinking everything is going great by this moment, you know, thinking, hey, I got it now until this happened. But before I get into that, you know that saying how your mom used to always say, do not play with your food? But I couldn't help myself. The way she was moving, the way she was sounding, Kim was turning me on more and more by the second. At this point, I'm busy trying to get my pants off and Kim busy pulling me up to her. I guess Kim was ready for the business and after seven months, I was gonna give it to her, believe that. As Kim laid in the bed, I stood up and- Say, help! Splash! It got in her face, her hair, it was everywhere. Kim was pissed with me. All I hear is saying, what the hell's wrong with you? You got me all worked up thinking you about to bust my back out. She was like, man, get out my way, I'm going home. Why are you 
running. Why are you? The crazy thing about it is all I could do is laugh out of embarrassment. I was hurt, I ain't gonna lie. I did see Kim a couple days later after that, but she wouldn't give me no play. I'm like, damn, can a brother redeem himself? I don't know. Hope you guys like my story time. Comment down below and let me know if y'all want another story time from me about the time when I first moved down south, how I got thrown off the back of a pickup truck and almost lost my life. Till next time, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the uh, bell notification so you don't miss none of my videos. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens. Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they want to go eat, then you know I'm going to feed them.